All right, so you're thinking about moving to Granite Bay and you wanna know what you can get for around a million dollars. Well, let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And as always, before I get started, hit the like, subscribe, ding that notification bell because I got new videos coming out for you every single week about Sacramento and Sacramento metro area. Also, we are a team of real estate agents that would love to help you find your next dream home. So if you're in the market, please give us a phone call or hit up that 15 minute Zoom. We'll reach out to you and make sure that we can get you started on your new journey. Now, getting into Granite Bay, California. When you come into Granite Bay, California, there's really only one way in and that's on Douglas Boulevard. As you can see, as you're driving down Douglas Boulevard, there are tons of businesses, there's tons of eateries, but as soon as you get into Granite Bay itself, the scenery completely changes. All of a sudden, you get a lot of old oak trees, you get a lot of big parks, and you get these large houses. Average price point right now in Granite Bay, at the time of this recording, is actually pushed up to 1.4 million. So, Granite Bay is gonna be luxury, fine dining, and I will also say peace and quiet. The other reason that you move to Granite Bay is also because of that lake life. A lot of the houses and neighborhoods really actually butt right up to Folsom Lake. Folsom Lake is a great spot during the summertime, whether you love fishing, boating, um, hiking, they've got a ton of trails out there that you would love. Also, as you drive way back into the Granite Bay side is you're gonna also notice that there's a lot of these little private beaches that if you get there early enough, you can secure and just spend the whole day without being interrupted by anybody. But now back to the houses. As we're going down Douglas, one of the first neighborhoods we hit and where our first property is, is actually in Greyhawk. Greyhawk is probably also one of my most favorite neighborhoods. Reason why is you're next to everything. The house that we're looking at is currently listed at $1.8 million. This thing has five bedrooms, three bathrooms, they have gone through and completely updated the property. They've got a pool in the backyard, the California outdoor living space. This property in particular is actually sitting in a gated community in Greyhawk, so you get a little bit more privacy there. Beautiful park right outside of those gates, walking trails all throughout. And because where Greyhawk's located at, you're just a hop, skip, and a jump over to anything and everything that your heart could imagine. You've got the Safeway right around the corner. You've got Home Goods. We've got the House of Oliver's, which is a great little wine joint to take on a date night. Uh, we've got a Poke Bowl place right there. Also, not too far from that is also one of uh, the largest churches around. It's gonna be Bayside Church. And then all up and down Douglas right there is going to be pretty much any and every type of business that you can imagine from doctor's offices to insurance companies, real estate companies, attorneys, just all lace up and down that Douglas Boulevard. Now I will say one of the bad things about being in Granite Bay as we're on that subject is there's really only two ways out. Either Douglas Boulevard, which if you're in traffic time is going to take you a minute to get through, you get a ton of cars coming uh, in and out of there trying to get over to either the freeway uh, highway 80 there or you just get a lot of traffic that's coming in from like say like the hospitals using douglas to also get onto 80. the only other way out would actually be go up auburn folsom boulevard uh, you're really not going to take that unless you want to get to maybe folsom or el dorado hills but this house here has only been on the market for a few days these houses even though it's listed at 1.8 million will go pretty quickly the house is also just down the street from Granite Bay High School, which is an award-winning school. Uh, not too far, just a couple blocks from the elementary school and also junior high. Now, we're gonna take a quick little flight through the neighborhood so you can kind of really get a glimpse of what Greyhawk's all about. You're gonna really notice that a lot of these houses are just built in between uh, these trees. Um, you're gonna also notice, even though you're right next to that hustle and bustle, 
it's completely quiet there. Like I, I'm talking, it's, it's almost eerie how quiet you can go off of Douglas, which is a main road into Greyhawk. And because I think really of the trees and how they're using their green spaces, you're completely secluded from everything. So let's go ahead and check out that neighborhood. All right, so the next neighborhood that we're gonna actually hit is a giant house. It's a four bedroom, four bathroom, 3,900 square foot uh, property. This is actually a bigger lot than the last property that we looked at, and it's a little bit more um, secluded. It's a little bit farther back uh, in the Granite Bay area. So getting in and out of Granite Bay is gonna be a little bit harder on this one, but you are right next to Granite Bay Golf Course, which is a beautiful, 18 hole golf course uh, this thing has ponds it's got a huge area that they're they uh, host weddings and events at almost every single weekend uh, they've got brunches there on and off events almost uh, every other day it seems like and really just an enjoyable golf course i played it a couple times it's not too rough on you but it will it's definitely challenging at least for me it is uh, the other cool thing about this one because you're further back, you are gonna be a little bit closer to Folsom Lake. And as you can see, this one's a little bit older, uh, does need some updating, um, but the neighborhood that you're in here is gonna be a little bit more established than say like the first neighborhood we were at. There are some HOAs in this area. Melrose for the most part though is pretty low just because it's a well built out area. Again, not too far from the high school, but you will have to do uh, a little bit of driving to get the kids to junior high and also elementary school. Crime rate around there is really low. You're not going to be very close to any shopping. Actually, I should say Granite Bay altogether is really not close to uh, any major shopping. But if you do you know, need to do some major shopping, you just jump right over to the Galleria Mall. There's plenty of shops. You've got Louis Vuitton there boss you got gucci over there if you're just looking for say you're taking the kids for back to school clothing uh, i know forever 21 is pretty popular you got uh, pack sun out there you also have nordstrom and then you also have like american eagle hollister of course are also out there i think there's still an abercrombie as well other than that, uh, this one where it's situated at, like I see, you're gonna be a little bit closer to Folsom Lake. Your amenities around there, grocery store like that, you're gonna probably have to take about a 10, 15 minute drive just because you're pretty far back into the neighborhood. But the other cool thing is you can quickly get on some really nice trails if you wanna do some just quick day hiking, stuff like that. Now this one also has a pool and one of the things that we're seeing more and more out here is owned solar. So with these bigger houses, again, this is over 4,000 square foot, you're gonna really enjoy the benefits of solar, especially with a lot of the people in Granite Bay um, are really switching over to those electric cars. So it's perfect for having those charge stations. Little tip on that is remember, you want to use all your power when you're on the grid. So charging the cars, if you're doing laundry, if you're running your pool pump, you really wanna do that during the day while you're at your peak. And then you really wanna slow that type of stuff down as you get back onto the grid, as they would say. So let's check this neighborhood out. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this one and we'll get to our last neighborhood.
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that last one. We're on to our last property here. This property is listed for 1.3 million. Now, this is a new build. There's a lot of different new building going on, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, but this one right here in particular is going to eventually be a gated community. There's two parts to it as you enter into the neighborhood one stories to your right and then there's some smaller two stories to your left hand side now the cool thing about this neighborhood is not only is it gated it actually leads to a nice trail that's in the back this trail is just being developed it follows a nice little creek in the back side there it does have its own private community park with play set in there and this one is a four bedroom four and a half bath and square footage wise is 2,719. This house is perfect, I would honestly say, for two people, either one retirees uh, that just want a one story, they don't want a huge backyard, but they do want a backyard that's been completely done on a new build, uh, or a young family that really you know, taking off every single weekend and, and doing something. It's a very low maintenance property they actually put in over $300,000 in upgrades in this property. So there's a base model out there uh, that they have, and this one in particular, they went ahead and, like I say, put about $300,000 into it, plus they actually did a backyard, which most of the new builds in this area aren't gonna have completed backyards. There's a couple builders out there starting to do it, uh, and these are one of them that it just kind of depends on if they do it or not but brand new build ready for move in and hoa is out there it's not too bad because it's a smaller community and again where this one's located is actually a really good spot not too far from the high school not too far from the elementary school and then right behind it we got a chick-fil-a uh, we have actually it's called a neighborhood walmart so it's a little bit of a higher end walmart if you've ever seen one of those not too far from the mega church and also again not too far from douglas and house oliver's and also um, pretty much all your grocery shopping and uh, any other eateries that you could possibly think of as a right there other cool thing is there's actually a daycare just on the other side here and there is a business complex that have some executive suites so if you are someone who works remote but just needs to actually you know maybe have your own office space it's right there so other than that let's take a quick look at this neighborhood and kind of the amenities that are surrounding it and then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that neighborhood. Now, one of the cool things that's happening in Granite Bay that I am really seeing out there is you've got a little bit of a mix right now, right? So you've got a lot of these people with, say, an acre to maybe two acres, and it's the old farmhouse, and those are kind of spread throughout Granite Bay. A lot of those houses right now are being purchased, actually taken down, and you're getting a lot of people building their dream home out there. So if that's a project that you guys wanna take on or something that you're interested in, reach out to us. We can kinda of go into a little bit more detail on how that works, uh, what we're looking for at a property. There are also uh, some gated communities that they're starting to build out there that are going to have just open lots and you can kind of build whatever you want. I will say you do wanna keep in mind that when you're doing these and you're buying in an HOA area in particular, that you not only need the city um, or county approval, but you also need that HOA's approval. So one of the things I like to do with my clients is if it's something that they want, get in the contract at that point we'll get all the ccnrs we'll get all the documents through the hoa and we'll be able to kind of read through them see what kind of restrictions they actually have on the builds 
Uh, for the most part, from what I've seen out there, is it's pretty much just a square footage thing. And then depending, some areas they're saying, hey, you can only build one stories or two stories, depending on where you're at. Uh, but other than that, like I say, it's really just a square footage thing that, that they wanna see. And then sometimes they will look at the style of the property and what they wanna see out of that property. So if you guys are interested in one, Granite Bay in general, because there are some other areas that uh, are a little bit more secluded, that aren't so close to you know each other. Also, there are, of course, like I say, some of these other uh, new builds that are happening. There's some townhomes also out there that are happening. Hit us up. Our team would love to help you out. Uh, like I say, our phone number's up top, our phone number's down at the bottom. And you can also hit that 15 minute zoom if you just wanna jump on and maybe get some quick answers and uh, meet face to face. On that one guys, we'll see you on the next.